All right, so our next uh, uh, part of the history, we mentioned the three foundations. Uh, the second one was evolution. So we will talk uh, about evolution. Um, and uh, we'll start with uh, the man, <laughs> the myth, um, uh, Charles Darwin. Uh, and uh, one of the biggest books ever in, in biology. So if you are interested in biology, it's a book definitely you should read. Uh, he was a gentleman farmer. He was a uh, uh, upper class uh, in Europe. And uh, so he understood uh, animal husbandry. Um, uh, gentleman farmer basically means that they have a farm. He did not necessarily run it. They had people on there to run it. But he did see the way that um, we had what we call artificial selection, where you're choosing the best cows or chickens. Uh, he was also, a, he raised pigeons. And uh, uh, he was sent to medical school, and uh, that's what his grandfather and father did. And but uh, he did not like it, so he dropped out. Uh, he actually went to uh, a seminary school uh, and had a religious background. He uh, was a clergyman. He never actually was ordained uh, before that. Uh, he is famous for going on a ship called the HMS Beagle uh, and went on a uh, voyage. Uh, and that voy voyage was um, to uh, famous for the Galapagos Islands. Uh, but more importantly, actually, uh, where he went was South America. And uh, the mission of the HMS Beagle was to uh, map uh, the coast of South America, uh, looking for uh, products for trade and trade lines. And uh, his job on the uh, ship was actually to keep the um, captain company. Uh, it turned out often on those ships, the, the captain who is uh, above everybody is in charge, would often hire a friend to come on to the ship uh, so they could have dinner and so he could socialize with somebody uh, that was not directly underneath him. Uh, but he, uh, Darwin was actually took over as naturalist, the naturalist that was hired actually quit because <laughs> which it turns out Darwin was better at it. Um, and so this was a, a, a five-year expedition in the 30s, 31 to 36. And then in 1859, he published um, his famous book, The Origin of Species. So then the question is, why did it take 22 years to publish? And you can see this is actually came out in one of the papers, not for The Origin of Species book, but his second book on human evolution and uh, he knew because he was a, a religious man, he knew that um, at the time, he, he knew that it was going to get him kicked out of society. Uh, but it turns out a young man that lots of people haven't heard of, Alfred Wallace, uh, years later actually came up with kind of the same idea. So Darwin had spent 22 years kind of refining a book and in a couple page paper, uh, Alfred Wallace came up with the same idea. And so two main points in the book, descent with modification. So children are different than their parents. And he came up with the mechanism how evolution could work and that is natural selection. Um, and so often you'll hear that uh, discussed as survival of the fittest. And we will uh, talk about that later when we talk about evolution and behavior. Um, and so in, in the book, uh, Origin of Species, uh, Darwin talks about sexual selection. So here I have a picture of a male African lion, and that is a very good male because uh, what the females are actually attracted to is the large dark manes. And, and so this would be considered a extremely um, attractive uh, uh, adult male lion. All right, so on the same note, uh, looking at different behaviors and um, John, uh, 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 George John Romanus uh, came up with mental evolution in animals and looked at not just structures, like on the right, we talked about structures evolving. Uh, what you see is the four limbs of mammals, uh, four as an F-O-R-E, um, the front limbs of animals. And they all look different, but they're all made up of the same part. So they have evolved to meet their needs in the environment. Our hand, uh, the front 
leg of a cat, the whale uh, in the water, and the bat flying. Uh, uh, George actually put this on to behaviors um, in different animals. And over here we have what's called balloon flies. And it, it turns out that there's this evolution of different flies that we see. Um, and some of them will actually bring their mate an empty balloon for mating. And it seems when you look at it, that seems like oh, it's odd. Why would a female take an empty balloon? Um, and we're going to talk about that behavior and how we think that might have evolved. And so that is um, the end of that. So we will stop the recording.